Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we have a breaking information that I have got to address today, not only on this YouTube video, but today on our live broadcast. NASA has just released a video showing that the Sahara Desert, that the dust coming up from the Sahara Desert is traveling over the Atlantic Ocean 3,000 miles and then falling on the Amazon rainforest, fertilizing the rainforest to help it grow. Now, folks, I believe this is a smokescreen totally to disguise and camouflage the fact that we're having space dust that is falling from space that's actually pushing down on our stratospheres and ionospheres and atmosphere even, which is helping create these straight line winds and extreme weather conditions that we've been currently experiencing. And it is the source of this. We're starting to hear of people getting dust falling from the sky, covering their cars. And I'm not talking about volcanic dust. I'm talking about dust from the heavens. And um, uh, I'm going to have to ask, uh, in today's broadcast, we just got to get to this. Now, we heard Mike from around the world bring this thing. He said this very thing was going to start happening and that there would have to be explanations for why this reddish, tinnish, reddish, brownish type dust would start to fall and be seen in different places. And this is the answer. Let me play for you right now. This is what NASA is going to do. They have released a video trying to prove why, and I think it's a camouflage of the dust that is starting to be seen. I mean, there was snow in Russia that was was a tinnish, uh, orangish, orange type color, br brown, red, orange. So uh, listen to this report. NASA scientists have performed the first multi-year study using satellite data to measure the 3D distribution of dust that travels from the Sahara Desert to the Amazon rainforest. The Sahara is the world's largest desert at more than 3 million square miles. It's almost the size of the continental United States. Each year, Saharan dust is lifted from the ground and transported by wind on a 3,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean. A portion of the dust collects in the Amazon Basin, the largest rainforest on the planet. Although dust particles are small, no larger than around a tenth of the width of a human hair, they form massive plumes that can be seen from space. NASA's Calypso satellite was launched in 2006 to study the vertical structure of clouds and particles in Earth's atmosphere. Calypso observations from 2007 through 2013 show that on average 182 million tons of dust leaves Africa each year. Of this amount, about 27 million tons is deposited in the Amazon basin. Sahara dust contains phosphorus, which is an important nutrient for plants. It so this is the, and, and you can go to Russia today and watch the entire video, but that is the crux of it right there. NASA sees all this dust settling on the earth and has to come up with a story. And the story can't be that the increased asteroids, the increased meteorites, the galactic belt that the earth has entered into, this galactic plane, which is sending way more comets and asteroids and meteors past the earth and depositing on the earth's surface space dust. That would alarm people of the incoming, um, without question, aggress I mean, uh, incoming and the, the absolutely accelerating amounts of asteroids and that are approaching us and approaching us, bringing more and more of this dust. So NASA has decided to come up with a concept saying that it's the Sahara Desert that's going 3,000 miles and falling on the rainforest. And that's why the rainforest works so good. So you're going to get this whole climate uh, uh, globalization of some type of manifestation on the planet of dust that is so mysteriously falling from the sky. Although it never fell from the sky before, not like this. 
Where was all the Sahara dust the last 2,000 years, let's say? So, you know, here we go again, and the Bible even told us to be careful not to believe science falsely, all right? I believe in science. I do, because I know God's the greatest master mind, the greatest scientist of all times, the inventor of everything. But at the same time, men manipulate statistics and information to hide the real truth. And I'm afraid that might be taking place. I'm going to put the links below. Read the entire article. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about this in, in, in a full detail in our live broadcast today. Probably have Mike from around the world, if he's available, come on and help discuss this process. So don't miss it today. Our live broadcast, 12 noon Eastern, 12 noon Eastern, from 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern, at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Don't miss today. The dust is falling, and Jesus is coming. Remember what Jesus said. Men's hearts, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts would fail them for fear of things coming upon the earth. For the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Is that what we're experiencing? 